On this video, we're going to go ahead and cover every little hidden feature and some cool tips and tricks you could do with a standard pair of AirPods. Now these AirPods happen to be the first and second generation AirPods because these two are still the most popular earbuds available in the market. So if you just recently picked up one or you'd like to see what are some new features that Apple integrated recently, continue watching this video. We're going to go ahead and start off with the easy stuff and work our way up to the more complex. Let's get started. Now if you're working out or you just have your hands full in the current situation, you can actually have it so that your AirPods can actually read out loud the notification through the earbuds. If you'd like to go ahead and enable this, simply just hop into your settings, scroll into notification, and here you'll see announce notifications. You go in here to enable and click on headphones. It's optional if you want your CarPlay to also read out loud your notifications, but I have mine personally turned off. And you can configure which apps you want to hear, and which ones you don't. So if you have an app that you prioritize in terms of notifications, like the stock market, weather, or something like that, and you like to hear Siri read you that notification out loud with the Air AirPods, that this is what you got to do to enable all this. And then in addition to that, we scroll all the way up. Here you actually will see a little description of what it says, what it does when you have announced notifications enabled, because you don't have to actually say the hey, S-I-R-I -I word, to call the virtual voice assistant out, Siri will actually listen in silence so you can repeat or take action to that notification. So like a quick reply if it's an iMessage without having to verbally launch the virtual voice assistant. Now while viewing something or listening to your music or podcasts, your buddy also has a pair of AirPods of their own. It could be the Pros, the Threes, Max, even some Beats. Connect two AirPods at once, play in the same audio, all together in synchronization. If you want to go ahead and do this, just pull down your control center, tap on the blue circle icon on the corner right here on what's playing, bring in their AirPods, open the case up, and click on share audio. Now just follow the on-screen instructions and there you guys have it. And if you long press on the volume rocker, you can actually adjust the audio on each individual AirPod. You could do the exact same thing on other Apple devices too, like your Apple TV, as these steps can also be followed on the Apple TV. And if they're device supported, you can switch between their different modes too, transparency mode or an active noise cancellation and such. Now in the control center, you're gonna go wanna enable a couple of things. So go into your phone setting, go into the control center, add the ear icon as well as the bell for announced notifications. You could use these three little lines right here to actually rearrange it on your control center. So you want to move around these shortcuts for a quicker access, you could easily rearrange it just like so. But with the ear icon, when you enable this, this will actually allow you to actually enter background sound, which can be used with or without your AirPods. But with your AirPods, basically it will play white noise and you have the ability to change between balanced noise, bright noise, dark noise, ocean, rain, and steam. So if you're trying to concentrate, focus on something instead of using a third party app, I'll be happy to inform you that Apple has this integrated on the operating system now. And then in addition to that, if we turn this off, you can actually tap on live listening. And what live listening basically allows you to do is it amplifies the sound around you. So if you have hearing problem, you could treat this like a hearing aid. It will basically utilize the microphone on the bottom of the iPhone and amplify the sound based off the audio level you could adjust right here. It'll also read out loud the decibel level. So whatever audio you're listening to, it'll actually read it, uh, show you the decibel levels right here. And then if somebody's using this to eavesdrop on you and you actually caught their device, you could just tap the little corner right here. You can actually turn it off on their end so it doesn't transmit the audio to their AirPods wirelessly if they just leave their phone behind. And just in case you don't have the background noise, white noise enabled, you can easily enable this by going into your settings, scroll down to accessibility, go into audio slash visual. Here you'll see background sound and this is where you can also enable this just in case it doesn't pop up doesn't pop up on your device. Now when it comes to troubleshooting your AirPods, the LED indicator will tell you everything. If a white light begins flashing, that means your AirPods are in pairing mode. This happens whenever you press and hold the pairing button back here of the AirPod case with the AirPods inserted. Amber light with the AirPods in the case, an amber color basically just means the AirPods are not fully charged and that the case has now started charging with them. 
Now amber light without AirPods in the case, this, this basically means that the case is not fully charged and that there's less than one whole charge remaining. This is a good indicator that you should charge your AirPods case. Now amber light with a power source connected, this means your AirPods begin charging. A green light with the AirPods in the case indicate that both the case and the AirPods are fully charged. Now a green light without the AirPods in basically just means that the case itself is fully charged. A green light with the power source means the AirPods and the AirPod case is fully charged and you're good to go and you can remove it from the charger. Now a flashing amber light typically means there's an error, something's gone wrong. If nothing's working, you will need to reset your AirPods. And in order to do this, you're gonna have to go on your iPhone settings, go into the Bluetooth section, select the AirPods, tap the eye icon, and tap on forget this device. And now just place the AirPods back inside the case, wait 30 seconds or so, and now you're ready to pair the AirPods by pressing and holding the only button back here until the LED light begins flashing, and now it's in pairing mode. You can reconnect it to your device just like so. Now if you like to adjust the EQ settings, maybe it's not meeting your standard to the genre of songs you're listening to, you could customize it. As you can actually go into your settings while you're wearing your AirPods, go into music section, and just click on EQ. Here, you can actually play audio, play whatever song or track you're listening to, and play with the many different EQ settings that they have here for your personal preference. But if you just want loudness, you can always select late night. This is known to be the loudest EQ setting if that's your thing. So there's that one, or you could try loudness itself, but a lot of people keep saying late night is the one that actually makes the decibel levels go extremely loud if that's what you're looking for. And since we're still in this little section, if you actually enabled sound check, what this basically allows you to do is whenever you're play listening to a genre song, like something soft and soothing, and then all of a sudden follows by a rock song, when this enabled, this will prevent the decibel levels to be so dramatic. So as soon as the next track plays, it doesn't just shock you. Now you have little ones or you're concerned about your overall ear health, you can actually reduce the decibel levels by adding a volume limit. If you want to go ahead and do this, just go into your settings, go in the sound and haptic tab, scroll down to where it says headphone safety, enable reduce sound, and this allows you to actually adjust the decibel level to your personal preference, and it even shows you an example of what these decibel levels typically range. So 85 as loud as heavy traffic, and if you go all the way down to 75 as loud as a vacuum cleaner, you can play with them and mess with whatever preference you personally want to leave it at. Now there's a lot of settings you could actually adjust and disable on these AirPods, believe it or not. And if you want to quickly find out what they are, go into your phone settings, tap on Bluetooth, and select the AirPods that are connected, tap the eye icon right here, and on top of here, you also have the ability to rename these AirPods if you want to give it a unique name to separate it from everybody else. Where it says double tap on AirPods, you could adjust these to do different things, so like the Air left AirPod, we could have it so launches our virtual voice assistant, play or pause, next track, previous track, or turn it off in general. In case those sensors are too delicate, this is how you can actually adjust this. And then on the bottom here, automatic ear detection. When this is enabled, basically as soon as you remove an AirPod, it'll pause whatever you're listening and will resume back utilizing the internal sensors so it knows that you're wearing your AirPods and when you take them off. If this feature becomes annoying, you can always disable it right here. So now it will continue playing whatever audio track you're listening to without pausing. And this also frees up the other earbuds. If your buddy doesn't have AirPods of their own, you can always just give them your left or right and share audio this way as well. Now scroll on down, connect to this iPhone. This is the automatic Apple device switching that AirPods have. So whenever you're on your computer, you'll see this icon on Apple TV and it detects AirPods nearby. It will show you that icon to quickly connect and switch between devices. If this becomes annoying, you can actually go into the automatic and just enable when last connected to this iPhone and now it will no longer automatically switch. Now the microphone section, if you want to have a AirPod dedicated for just your phone calls, you can always just switch between the left mic or the right. So those AirPods, the earbud that you selected is going to be the dedicated microphone. But by default, as soon as you placed one earbud in, automatically that's going to be the microphone for answering calls and such. But if you want to have a dedicated one, that's how you can do that. 
Now, if you lose an AirPod, don't need, no need to panic or anything like that. Launch are within Bluetooth range. If you actually launch the Find My app, not only will it lock down the last known location it was connected to your device on the mini map so you can backtrack and locate it that way, but if you're nearby, you can actually tap on the AirPod. You can actually individually make it so that each earbud, left or right, or both at the same time, can play sound so you can locate it faster. So if you're in the same room where these AirPods were last seen, they could play sound so long as they have batteries still in them so you could locate them faster. And now if you have a pair of AirPods and you want to connect it to a non-Apple device, you could easily do so as it does connect via Bluetooth. So you can actually connect this to your PlayStation, a Nintendo Switch because that recently got support or an Android device. If you like to quickly go into the pairing process, just have the AirPods inside the case, open up the lid, press and hold the little pair button back here until the white LED light begins flashing white. Once it's flashing white, just go into Bluetooth Discover Devices on that device. This also works on Windows, and you can select the AirPods just like so. And depending on the device, some of the features will remain operating normally on that device, such as the pause and play feature, and maybe the virtual voice assistant. Now there's a couple ways you can launch the virtual voice assistant, aka Siri. You can either reprogram one of the stems to be the dedicated button to launch it, or you can always just say the sentence, hey, uh, let's just say s'mores so I don't tr toggle your device. This is built into the second generation AirPods by default, and if this feature becomes annoying, if other people are like toggling it, you could always go ahead and disable this by going into your settings, going to accessibility, tap on Siri and here's where you can actually disable the listen to the hey s'mores function. Now if you're going out for a run and you have an Apple Watch nearby, leave behind your iPhone and have the AirPods connected to the Apple Watch directly. On your Apple Watch just open control center, swipe up from the bottom to the top just like so, tap on the AirPlay icon, these three rings right here, and then select AirPods and now play whatever music streaming app that you want to listen to and there you go, you can leave your iPhone behind. And if you want to check the battery life of the AirPods, just check the battery life on your Apple Watch just like so. It'll show you right here. Sometimes it'll also pop up the case if you open up the lid. But on your iPhone, you can either pop up the lid like so. It'll show you a little card indicator of the overall AirPods charging stats. Or you can add widgets on your main device. To add a widget, just go into wiggle mode, tap plus, and just look for the battery widget and that's how you can add it. You can also add it on this card, side of the card as well. Now if you want to increase or lower the audio level and you don't have to have your iPhone on you, you can always use the digital crown on the Apple Watch to adjust the audio this way or you can verbally launch your virtual voice assistant and request Siri to set the volumes at 50% and such. Now this typically may happen, sometimes you will equip your AirPods and they may not automatically connect. There's a way you could actually bypass this and force them to connect. If you're having this type of trouble, simply just launch Control Center, tap the little AirPlay icon and select it. manually select the AirPods right here. And this will definitely ensure them that they do connect to your device right away. And just like that, you have mastered every single feature, cool tips and tricks you could do with your pair of airpods if you got some good useful information out of this video you know what to do greatly appreciate it if you can actually leave this video a like those help me out a lot and get subscribed especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this for more maybe you're curious what type of accessories that are available for these airpods you can go ahead and check out that video over there as i cover every popular accessory available for the first and second generation airpods then the video next to that one that is a video review of the airpods pro maybe it might be something you may want to consider and possibly upgrading if you've been holding on to the first gen for quite some time now. So that video is available for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.